Welcome to Lark. Let me walk you through the essential functions of Lark Messenger. To chat with a colleague, simply type their name into the search bar. As you're chatting, the little circle next to each message turns to a green check when your recipient has read your message. Sometimes emojis speak louder than words. On mobile, press the message and hold to reply with an emoji. Even though there are multiple messages addressed to you, you can direct your reply to one specific message and click on it to see the entire thread. If there is a message that you will need to access later and you don't want it to be swept away, you can pin it to your chat. Pinned. You can view all your pinned messages by clicking on this thumbtack button. We've all had times when we've accidentally sent out a message and regretted it. Oops. I mean, without finishing it. Luckily, you can recall the message and re-edit it. Once a message is sent out, you have 24 hours to recall it. Sometimes, you want to share a chain of messages with someone else, so you can combine your chat history using multi-select, and then forward it. If you want to remind yourself to get to a chat later on, you can mark it for later. You can view all your marked for later messages by clicking this yellow banner. On mobile, swipe left on a chat to mark it for later. On Lark, you can set aliases for your colleagues. These aliases can only be seen by you. So if you don't remember Hannah's name, but just want to find a person in charge of US marketing, simply type US marketing and Hannah will pop up. On the Lark mobile app, you can also send a voice message if you press and hold the record button, like this. Hi, Hannah, we're on the first floor. Sometimes you prefer to send a text message, but don't want to type. You can tap audio to text and dictate a message like this. Okay, we're coming over now. Enjoy using Lark.